What if humans could run as fast as lightning like the Flash? What if humans could run as fast as lightning? It's a question that's fascinated people for centuries. And today we're going to explore the science behind this fascinating topic. Who doesn't know the Flash, the fastest man alive? One of the superhero from DC Comics. In the, the serial The Flash. In the live-action version, The Flash has had varying speeds from Season 1 to Season 8. In Season 1, The Flash was able to travel back in time by running at a speed of Match 2. With this speed, Barry was able to create a singularity. In Season 2, during his first encounter with Supergirl, The Flash was able to increase his speed fourfold, running at 16,300 km per hour. In Season 3, The Flash was shown battling Savitar, who claimed to be the god of speed. Barry was shown running at match 3 or 3,704 km per hour. In Season 4, to avoid being caught on a prison surveillance camera, The Flash ran at match 155,096. There is no definite speed calculation in Season 5 but it's rumored that Barry was able to run at match 10,925 or 13,490,190 km per hour. Similar to season five, the Flash's top speed in season six was approximately Mach 10,925. In season eight, the Flash had to travel through time. To make it happen, Barry had to run at a speed of 24,696 km per hour to catch up with Damien Dark. What is the Flash's speed in mathematical terms? Actually, the speed of the Flash, especially in the comic books, depends on the imagination and story of the writer. However, generally the Flash is capable of running faster than the speed of sound or exceeding Mach 1. For example, in the comic Justice League of America page 89, the Flash saved many lives in a matter of seconds. In the comic, it was shown that a nuclear bomb was detonated in Korea. The Flash then managed to save 532,000 people, which he did in just 0.1 microseconds. In fact, the Flash had to run 70 miles or 112 chem to avoid the victims from the explosion radius. Based on this, we can conclude that the Flash ran 354,667 times with a total distance of 24,826,690 miles in just 0.1 microsecond. To do this, the Flash would need to run at a speed of approximately 2 quintillion, 482 quadrillion, 669 trillion 2.5 quintillion, or 13 billion times the speed of light. The mathematical record for the Flash's speed is known to reach 23 tredecillion times the speed of light. What happens if a human runs as fast as lightning? It is impossible for a human to run as fast as lightning without the aid of tools and technology. Even if someone were to have some kind of superpower that allowed them to run as fast as lightning, this is what would happen to their body. First, muscle, joint, and bone damage. According to a biomechanics expert from Loughborough University, Dr. Sam Allen, there are several factors that humans would need to run as fast as lightning, such as body shape, muscle strength, muscle fiber length, tendon length, foot width, and bone strength. Human muscles and tendons cannot withstand the excessive friction and force generated when moving at super fast speeds. Additionally, human legs are not sturdy enough to support the body's weight when it lands as a support during each step. Instead, what happens is muscle, joint, tendon, and bone damage due to unnatural movement. Second, heart cannot pump blood fast enough. Furthermore, the heart cannot pump blood to the entire body when someone is moving at the speed of lightning. However, blood flow is essential to supply oxygen to the brain while also carrying out the functions of muscles and joints. Third, collisions due to inability of brain and vision to adjust. Fourth, skin burns and tears. The air around us is made up of thousands of tiny particles that are invisible to the naked eye. From gas particles, dust, dirt, and other chemical particles that float in the air. When someone runs very fast, their skin will directly rub against these particles. This friction generates heat that can burn and tear the skin. Unfortunately, 
Human skin is not designed to be that tough and durable against friction and heat. Another challenge is that the human brain must be able to think 10 times faster, and the eyes must be able to see 10 times further ahead. When someone runs as fast as lightning, they must avoid buildings, people, trees, cars, and other obstacles that block the way. However, the human brain can only react 1.5 seconds after seeing an event. In this 1.5 seconds, someone could run more than 5 kilometers. So even if someone could run super fast, they would collide with all the obstacles in front of them. To be able to run very fast, the flash needs to exert exponentially increasing force to the ground. In an ordinary person running at normal speed, this resistance force is very small and therefore not noticeable at all. In addition, running very fast can produce friction. Friction then produces heat. As a result, the Flash's body or costume must be able to withstand the extraordinary heat generated by the friction. Furthermore, running as fast as the Flash can have other consequences. The human body is not completely solid and has limits to withstand acceleration. The human brain can be crushed to the bone, and bodily fluids can condense in the opposite direction of our movement. According to Alain, the Flash cannot easily travel faster than the speed of light to go back in time. This is because he has mass. Light and gravitational waves can travel at the speed of light because they are not something, he writes. On the other hand, experts have found that humans can only move up to 0.37% of the speed of light. This was revealed by Philip Tan, a scientist from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. You need to be in a spacecraft to reach that speed, Tan said, ordered by Live Science. Even approaching the speed of light, humans will experience what is called time dilation. This moment will make humans age slower than usual. However, according to Science Alert, there are particles that can travel faster than the speed of light. These hypothetical particles are called tachyons. If tachyons actually exist, their speed cannot be below the speed of light. Some physicists say that tachyons will continue to travel back in time. That is why tachyons have been associated with time travel in science fiction, books, and films.